me. Today I'm at the Truckee River. On Monday I fished uh, the West Walker River for Wilderness with Amon and Patreon. Got some nice fish, got a big brown on my second cast, bunch of rainbows. Then yesterday I went and fished Lake Tahoe and got nothing. I'm not saying you can't catch fish in Lake Tahoe right now, but the water's still warm. And I just, I gave up at about noon and went home. It was just basically a waste of gas and time. But I came here on Wednesday before my work week starts to go see if I can't get something out of the truckie. And I stopped off at the big pool downstream from Farad. Even though I have caught a nice fish in here, I still feel defeated by it. So I made a stop here. I'm going to fish this pool. Then I'm going to go downstream a little bit farther and fish some of those stretches. So let's get started. Check out that full moon. That might have had something to do with my crappy day at Lake Tahoe yesterday, but I don't know. Today's a day that's going to be set by what I'm willing to do and what I want to do. What I want to do is get a good fish early and get off the river before it really warms up today. What I'm willing to do is I'll fish six or seven miles of river if that's what it takes into the burning heat. So let's see what the future holds. And unlike the West Walker, which was going real slow, this river is flowing, man. So let's get down there. I got new line. I'm fishing eighth ounce marabou jigs and that's all I got. So I hope it works. In my haste to switch from my Lake Tahoe stuff last night, I realized I grabbed the wrong reel that has a handle that doesn't fit. And it looks like the other one. So, I think it's gonna be okay though. So far, it, it doesn't feel horrible, but we'll see what happens. I'm so tired and I'm just, I'm, I, I don't have a lot of time to prep and I just don't have the energy. And I just grab the stuff and throw it and switch my gear. And this is just what we're working with today. So, <laughs> the handle's a little rickety, but I think it's gonna be okay. So, Man, I thought I had something good, but I just hooked up to the bottom of it for a second. I was like, yeah! <laughs> you know how you get that heart-stopping snag? Man, I am like one for 30 in this hole. I don't even, I don't even know why I try. This slow, deep water isn't really what I catch most of my fish on jigs on, but there's got to be like 50 fish in this pool. So you figure, I caught one nice one fishing for Patreon months ago. But, I don't know. I just can't seem to pull anything out of it. So I'm gonna have to move on. I gotta tell you, with the wind whipping and it in the 30s, I can't feel my hands. Feels like a good time to get in my car and go, go downstream and find some more water to thaw out. Maybe incorporate some gloves. I don't like fishing with gloves. Cause it takes away the fine tune that I need to do what I like to do. But if I can't feel my hands, the gloves kind of make sense. I got a little bit in me where I, until, I, until my hands are useless clubs. So let's keep going. All right. Let's get back in the car, drive a mile downstream, and start working that. My hands are so numb, I can't feel anything. <laughs> so, I just, I officially can no longer fish. So I need to, I need to regroup. For the first time this year, I busted out the gloves. I had to, I, that wasn't working. The whole no gloves wasn't working. I usually don't have a lot of luck going that way. So before I go up there and get skunked, I'm gonna go see what's going on down this way. On. I 
He's fighting. Ooh, whatever it is, it's decent. Looks like it might be a rainbow. The rainbow, the smaller rainbows fight pretty hard. There he is. Let's see what we got here. And I've come to realize that this reel only will go both ways, so I gotta watch it with one finger. And rainbows can be finicky, but man, when the water's moving, and the water's moving really good in the river. Let's see what we got here. There you go. He's fat. This fish isn't huge, but it's big enough where I don't mind getting my hands wet. And there we go. That's a nice fish. Beauty. There he goes. Shot right back out there. And the water's moving really good, man. It feels like spring almost. And I got him in that this uh, slicker water. The faster water's up there. That was a nice fish, but it certainly isn't nice enough to stop me from fishing. So I don't know if I'm gonna grind it out totally today, but we're at least gonna get a little bit of a grind. A little grind. Back on the trail. And this part's ex adopted by the jackalopes. Whatever that is. <laughs> I know what it is. It's that stupid thing you buy and give people for Christmas. It's a jackrabbit with antlers, but I don't know what the group is, but I'm glad they're sponsoring the trail. Man, you fall into this river, you're gonna be in some trouble possibly. So let's go see if I get something going and not fall in the water and get into trouble. I just hit something good and it just ran hard downstream. And I never hook a fish in this section. I'm glad I put more line on my reel though. But this thing's got me in the hard current. I hit him straight across the river. But the thing just got right out in the current and shot straight downstream. Very tricky things. And I'm just gonna really take my time with it. Cause I got a lot of line. I just put new line on, woo. Whatever this is, it's fighting, man. But it's got about 50 yards on me right now. And I don't know how much is the current and how much is the fish. But at least I'm gaining some ground. For a minute there, I couldn't do anything. And I'm hoping it stays under the water. And I usually don't get fish here, but the water's really rushing, so it really opens up a lot of water that, whoo, it's a big rainbow, I think. I think that's what I'm dealing with here. I think I saw his big red stripe. And I was low on line. before I put line on last night, so I'm glad I did that. All right, my reels, for some reason, is going in both directions, so I gotta lock it up with my finger like this when I'm not going. I gotta keep pressure on him, though. There he is. All right. This fish just really took advantage of the current. I mean, this is the kind of fish where one big run and you're done. 
he'll snap you off. I want to get him around this boulder. I don't want any boulder issues. There he is. He's out in the water now. My jig is hanging out of his mouth to the point where it's hanging out like a cigar. <laughs> so if this thing jumps, it might get me. Ooh, gotta keep that pressure on. Gotta keep that pressure on. Don't do it to me, buddy. Come on. I'm willing to make a deal with you. I'll let you go, I promise. He won't get out of that current. Man, this is a fight. This little five foot ultralight, man. It's a struggle. And this fish isn't huge, but it's a rainbow and these rainbows really fight to the end. All right, there he is. This is a colorful one here. Ugh. All right, where's he at? There he is. Ugh. Nope, he's not quite ready yet. There he is. Woo, that's a big rainbow. I'm gonna let him rest. I like this big net because it really allows me to let the fish sit in it. It's like a basket. Got my hands wet. I let him chill for a little bit. There we go. That is a big Truckee River rainbow right there. Woo we do we. Look at that big red gill plate, man. Woo, there he goes. Woo. And yeah. I let them chill in the net for a little bit until they start thrashing. And this rubber net doesn't wrap around them. So it really lets them move freely. And it was perfect because I didn't have my gloves on. I hate fishing with gloves. I never catch fish in this stretch, but when the water's rushing like this, you never know what you're gonna get as long as you make some casts. That's gonna wrap it up. And I fished a little bit longer, I just out of pure greed, after I got that big rainbow, I should have just went home. But it's about 10.30 in the morning, it's time to go home. And I didn't catch anything in Lake Tahoe yesterday, but if I had got something good in Lake Tahoe, I probably was gonna take today off of fishing. So I'm kinda glad I got skunked, cause that was an exceptionally fat and hard fighting rainbow. It was a great battle. When you get a big rainbow or a big brown like that in this fast moving water, it really helps to lodge that hook and keep it home, keep it tight. Because when I got that rainbow in the net, the jig just fell out. <laughs> I was like, I was so glad that thing didn't jump. I throw my pack and my fishing gear in the corner of my apartment by my front door. If I'm gonna fish Lake Tahoe or I'm gonna go bait fishing, I take all my bait fishing stuff and stick it in my pack, my rod holders, my bells. When I'm gonna fish in, in a river where I let everything go, especially if it's special regulation, I just got this, that's it. And I don't like to have bait or anything on me when I'm fishing in, in rivers or special regulation waters makes it easier on the fishing game wardens. I can tell them, look through my pack. I don't even have bait. I don't even have anything like that. You know, a lot of times I grab the wrong thing. Like my switch over from last night to today took about 10 minutes. And then I put new line on this reel and I didn't even notice that the reel handle was wrong. I was just tired yesterday. I don't think I recovered from going backpacking last week yet. So I hope you enjoyed those rainbows, especially the big one. Man, I sure did. It was awesome. Thank you for joining me on Wilderness with Imani. Until next time.